I'm probably not going to get this out before 11. Um, kind of dawdled a little bit today. And uh, it's Saturday. I'm going to have to do uh, some work tomorrow. So on top of not being here as usual on Sunday, uh, yeah, I kind of decided to sleep in a little bit. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're going to do this the proper way this time. That way I don't have a scene at the end, a post credit scene, which, oh, let me put credits in this thing. There we go. Alright, so, today we're looking at Ragnarok for our guide. <laughs> and how much fun could that possibly be? <laughs> oh boy, okay. So let, let's see how, uh, how bad it is or not. Okay, so looking at it is pretty much what I suspected. Something is coming to an end only to have something new take its place. We're all subject to the cycle of birth, life, death, and rebirth. With death comes an opportunity to start afresh. No matter how difficult the situation, it is not the end of the world. Now, so with that being said, let's see what our spirit animal is looking like today. And it is the moth spirit. That's actually kind of a pretty card, actually. And because I've worked so little with the stack, that I'm going to just have a peek at exactly what a moth spirit uh, does. And it does say surrender now on the card. But the moth spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it's become a compulsion or an addiction? Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Hard work and dedication are virtues, and love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when moth spirit appears, it is time to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to a certain uh, addiction to certainty, or even to a person may be your current vice. The form of addiction does not matter so much as the awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more than one direction. The fire burns hot, and if you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all other pursuits that matter to you, well, and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion. That's true. Now is the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Ban banish the shoulds and the musts so that you can enjoy what is as you allow. So that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. So it's time to be a little honest about ourselves. Maybe it's time to look. This already looks like let go. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, let's see what we've got here. Already we have strength. We have the high priestess. And we have the king of swords. Okay, so two court, two court cards right off the bat. Forgive me, everyone. That's my sinuses are working again. All right, so strength we do see, and that card does kind of symbolize exactly what it says. It symbolizes strength, and we see a man messing with a lion while I'm playing with a kitty. So, <clears throat> just from what I can gather, this is, we are coming from a position of strength, but we're seeking guidance for a little more certainty in our power, which the Moth Spirit warned us against. That's just what I'm seeing. I just want to confirm that so far. Oh, okay. So with strength, it's more about patience and self-control, believing in yourself, obviously. 
with the high priestess we're looking for um we're, we're looks like we're chasing a little whimsy here and for that king of swords I gotta say this is this is us being in our being in our truth being confident in our truth and being confident in your truth doesn't mean that you have to defend it or justify it to anyone else usually it's it's what we call self-evident once something is very self-evident anyone else can ignore it all they want but it won't matter because the results are always going to be there get what I'm saying I mean with this King of Swords I'm looking at him as a sort of like master of his own destiny this this one strength the the person in the photo is so confident that they're going up to a lion and petting it and giving it a little love knowing that that lion could turn on them and this high priestess is is someone that we trust someone that we're we are going to be seeking advice here and whether that high priestess is your your minister a counselor something like a, a trusted friend you do need to be consulting them at the moment because they are going to have some very valuable information for you stuff that you can actually use and this to me is look like where you will end up as that um that person who's honest you're thinking clearly you're in your truth and things are things are looking better for you you're more in control you don't have to be in control of every single you know you don't have to nano manage it to the mic to the subatomic level that's that's the key thing he just takes care of what he can and he leaves the rest to do what it what it has to do so let's call upon the cosmos here or the universe and see what it has to say how how's our day looking we've got the cosmic heart we've got a portal naturally and we've got the golden children here we go so with the cosmic heart the portal and the golden children i'm noticing a few things right off the bat and i will check i'm going to go back and check the book just to kind of look see if maybe what i'm what i'm seeing is correct here um I personally i this is just what is coming to me but if you look at the cosmic heart there's that focus right there that heart is glowing and it does say devotion potency make your life a moving prayer we've had that before to do everything you do you do in some sort of service you're not doing it for recognition you're not doing it for um, power and glory or anything like that you're doing it just because you know this is the right thing to do and of course the doors are opening you've heard the saying when one door closes another one opens doors are opening for you okay this is no time to ignore them I mean look look at how large that portal is that's a big door it the little windows the little doors don't worry about them they got shut in your face that's fine they'll be taken care of later that's something to be taken care of down the road with the golden children this is your inner child that uh, innocence, those sort of rare gifts that you you know you have. You have those little talents and they excite you. And that is what you need to pursue. This is, this is a, a good example of showing it off a little bit. So, you know, um, shoot, how can I put it? Okay, hang on just a second. I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab something. to meet my walking stick it does not look like much as a matter of fact it's very crooked that's because it's iron wood and with an iron wood walking staff there's never going to be another one like it now what makes this one special is it it does have a it does have a lanyard attached to it so that you don't lose it and it's made by a company in texas I was at a, 
It was the absolute last time I was at this uh, sort of military surplus store. They had a, they had like a bin full of walking staffs, and I found a few that I liked, and then I saw this one, I took it, and as soon as I had my hands around it and put it on the ground in front of me, I was like, this is the one. Despite of how, despite how crooked it may be, uh, despite the knots in it, uh, this and I have been on many a journey. But what I did was, I kind of jazzed up the lanyard. That's it. That's all I did. I just had some beads and uh, had one of these kind of still hanging around. And I didn't really think this was suitable for a necklace, so I just put it on here. Now, what was really great about it was I posted it uh, to some social media site. I can't remember which one. And I posted, I made a thing, and I only showed it, I only showed the staff from here up. And this was the thing that I'd made. Was I super proud of it? No, not really. But I thought it was kind of cool. So I decided to share it. That's the whole purpose behind the Golden Children. You are going to be engaging in some of those rare gifts, those those things that nobody else can do and you've got them you've got those but you're going to kind of show it off a little bit you know look at what I did and there's nothing wrong with that just don't get too into it okay so we're going to go to the runes now close this out see what we have we have Lagoos of course Solo nice and we've got Fehu I love all three of these. <laughs> I love all three of these. Okay, so we do need to kind of let go a little bit. Remember, Lagoos from yesterday's reading was go with the flow. Kind of experience that. Um, get in the inner tube, pop it in the river, and drift a while. Of course, so Willow is the sun, everything is very nice, brightly lit, and of course Fehu, we have actually talked about Fehu before. Fehu literally translated means cattle, but that's how wealth was measured. So we've got some, we've got some wealth coming up. Now I don't know whether that's material wealth, I mean with Fehu it, it, it is kind of that material wealth, is it not? But it's more this is pointing more towards a wealth of maybe power, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And you know what? I don't want to go back to the to the book on that Golden Children card, but I keep getting the. Well, I don't want to go on the other cards. Uh, this one, though, that Golden Children card's still kind of calling to me a little bit. Interesting. Okay, so the book is apparently well. This old calling, uh, this paragraph jumped out at me because I need to go back to that for just a minute. If you pull this card, it may be a sign that you're being called to mother, father, or nurture a child. You may be called to tend to your own inner child, a creative idea or project or a new beginning. To treat yourself or this new beginning with sweet, tender love. To nurture and nourish it. To give it every chance to grow and reach adulthood to encourage it, to water it, to see the world through the innocence of a child. You see yourself and all others as innocent children. To remember deep down, everyone is trying their best, and if they're treated with a tender heart, they'll not harden as they journey through this great adventure called life. So, how can you treat yourself or others a little more tenderly? So, in some ways I was right, in others not so much, but now we have that. So it's, it's time to treat yourself really well. Don't be so hard on yourself. Especially if you're doing something like this. I have an experience with some decks. I have uh, two decks I still have never worked with. <laughs> and I really need to read up on them. So who knows when I'm going to find time to do that. But anyway, go with that flow. Don't worry, the sun's out. Remember, it's it's summer. We're we're 
we're right upon it, man. That heat, that heat's coming. We're uh, gonna be gathering by the pool. Some of us near a sandbar or a beach or something like that. You know, we can see everything. We're good. And we got Fehu for that wealth. It looks like it looks. Our outcomes look to be pretty good, despite the start that we think is oh so terrible. So that's really all I have for you today. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Uh, thank you to those who have rocked with me from the beginning and those who are just joining me. There is one thing you can do for me if you're finding any value in this at all. Pass it along to a friend who might need it. Hit the thumbs up button. You know, subscribe. Hit the bell so that you get notified every time I release a video. And that way, if you're ever wondering, hey, why didn't I get that bell, you'll know I didn't release one that day because I woke up late for work. Anyway, I gotta get out of here because I gotta get this into the pipe for you and maybe I'll get it, I don't know, big maybe I'll get it in before 11, I don't know. That's Eastern time, by the way. I think chances are I'm probably gonna feed, uh, I'm gonna feed Mr. Bub over there before that happens. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Love you guys. Please stay safe. Be good to each other. Shine on.